something that really is remarkable that happened in the last few weeks. There was papers that were published. They were re able to remeasure the radius of the proton more precisely using standard uh, standard techniques, that is using uh, electrons instead of muons. Uh, one remaining criticism on my prediction of the radius of the proton, which is critical, um, was that, uh, well, this new radius of the proton, which is 4% smaller than is predicted by QED, um, by the standard model, um, is maybe wrong, although it was verified twice, um, uh, 2010, then 2013, and it produced what's called a proton puzzle, the proton radius puzzle. Um, you know, there was a lot of, you know, literature saying, well, maybe because they use muons, which are heavy electrons, they flexed the proton radius, you know, they, they, the, 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 the elasticity of the proton radius kind of pushed in when the, when the electron was uh, scattered off it. Mm -hmm. And that's why we got a smaller radius and all this stuff, trying to avoid the problem because if the radius is 4% smaller, all of a sudden all of standard, uh, the standard model um, QED just goes out the window um, because it's highly reliant on that radius being specifically what it used to be. Um, and so uh, in the last few weeks, published uh, papers uh, were reporting on experiments that were done where they used normal electrons. They used the, the earlier techniques, but more precisely, and they got the same radius. They got the radius that they got from the muonic experiment the radius that my um, uh, equations predict. So that means that, uh, and it's funny because the standard, like there's, there's actually articles in the press out there saying, oh, physics is not broken after all. We got the, we, we got, we confirmed that the radius was the muonic radius. Well, actually that's wrong. And it's like, it is, Physicists out there, they're a little confused uh, <laughs> because the fact that we predict that these, these, uh, th that they confirm this radius having been 4% smaller uh, totally breaks physics. I mean, the standard model of physics, uh, the universe is doing just fine. <laughs> but uh, the standard model of physics broken, um, QED is in big trouble um, because. Uh, the Reinberg constant, which is very precisely measured as well, and the radius of the proton um, now being 4% smaller, precisely measured there, doesn't work inside the QED um, theory. That is, you know, the QED theory uh, actually used the proton radius as a, as a variable to adjust to the Reinberg constant. and you know, it give the radius that they thought it was. Now, if it's 4% smaller, all of a sudden, the Reinberg constant goes up in smoke, which was thought to be, you know, um, the most precise prediction uh, of any theory, um, you know, on the planet ever. Well, all of a sudden, it's, it's wrong by a long shot, you know, because it was precise to like some 12 or 10 digit accuracy, but if it's 4% wrong, now it's not precise at all. And so, um, and so the only theory that actually gives the correct Reinberg constant and radius of the proton and its mass and the mass of the universe, of course, and the mass, you know, without the need for dark matter and dark energy and the mass of all the electrons, the only, theory that actually does the job is the holographic mass solution and that's why it gives the correct prediction for the radius of the proton so that's a really good news